Hello and welcome to this cat yin yoga practice. This is just a fun practice to celebrate the cat. We'll be doing all cat themed yin yoga poses. Cats are the quiet, confident, introvert of the animal world. And yin yoga is such an introspective practice that I think the two go really well together and I just really love cats. So if you are a cat lover like me, then let's do this cat yin yoga practice together. We're going to start in Sphinx pose. So you come, can come on down to lie on your belly. When you're there, bring your elbows in front of you and measure the distance between them with your hands then try to keep the elbows that far apart as you bring your forearms back down to the mat. Spread your claws nice and far apart. And then have your chest very proudly shining out in front of you. We'll stay here in Sphinx Pose for four minutes. Sphinx Pose, of course, is the head of a human and the body of a lion. Take some time to feel into your body, to connect to your breath. A cat is never boastful, never needy. They're always very quietly confident in who they are. So as you're here in Sphinx pose, you might practice opening up your chest, being proud, gaze straight out in front of you. And just know that exactly how you are is absolutely perfect. You don't need to prove yourself to anyone. And if you are seeking attention, know that you can give that love and attention to yourself. We'll be here in Sphinx Pose for one more minute. Before we release the pose, you might claw the ground with your fingers. 
without moving your elbows, pull them back towards you so you can open up through your chest. You might lift your head away from your shoulder girdle that little bit more. Engage your quads slightly. And now take three really proud breaths in. Bringing in more confidence, more contentment. When you're ready to release Sphinx Pose, you can slowly roll back down. Find Crocodile Pose by making a pillow for your hands and bringing your big toes to touch each other. We'll rest here for one minute. Allowing your complete back body to just dissolve into the mat. Now you can bring yourself back up onto all fours. You might spread your knees a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. From here, we'll step our right hand forward and thread the left arm in underneath so the left shoulder and ear comes to the ground. And that right hand might extend further even more to help open up your shoulders. And you can experiment here by either adding a little bit more of your body weight into the left shoulder or maybe taking more of that body weight into your right hand, depending on how you're feeling here in this pose. We'll stay here for two minutes. This pose is inspired by trying to get a toy out from underneath the couch. Speaking of toys, cats can be so serious, but then they can be so silly and so playful. So I think that that's a good reminder that we can be both of those things. Doesn't have to be one or the other. And it's always nice to remember our fun and our playful side and just to encourage it to come out a little bit more. Take about three more breaths here. And 
You can come back towards all fours now. Take a moment just to feel into your body and notice if there's any differences within the two sides. We'll repeat on the other side now. So maybe widening out the knees again, bringing your left hand forward and threading your right arm underneath. And we'll stay here for two minutes. Take one more big breath here. When you're ready to do so, you can make your way back out of the pose. We'll just come to sit for a few breaths, whatever way is most comfortable for you. In a moment, we'll come back down into Anahatasana. But for now, let's just give the knees a little break. Let everything flow back down towards the earth. When you're ready to come into Anahatasana, we'll do so by coming back towards all fours. This time the hips will stay underneath, or sorry, the knees will stay underneath the hips. And you can bring your claws to the front of the mat, paws I should say. And then you're dropping your chest and head down into this very classic cat shape. Point your tail up into the air. If you want to go deeper, you can bring your chin onto the mat. We will stay here for two minutes. If this starts to feel intense, you can take a bend into your elbows. And if you need to come out of the pose sooner than two minutes, of course, that is okay.
You can release Anahatasana. Very slowly making your way back to a seat on the mat. You can get comfortable, perhaps close your eyes, feeling the effects of the pose. Connecting to your body while also connecting to your breath. Another reason why I love cats and I feel that we have so much to learn from them is that cats teach us, even if you are quiet, you are still very loved and you are always seen and respected. So let's just Enjoy this quietness of our own being for a few more breaths. When you're ready to come back, you can make your way to all fours. We will release and massage the spine with cat and cow. So have your wrists directly below your shoulders and your knees directly below the hips. And push yourself away from the earth. Inhale to point your tailbone up. Drop your belly, bring your chest forward and look up. With an exhale, point your tailbone down, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and drop your head. And keep gently pushing yourself away from the ground here. When you're ready, you can inhale again and use it to bring you up into cow. When you're ready to exhale, use it to propel you down to cat. And we'll keep going for a few more rounds here. you can come back to a neutral spine when you're ready and we'll just swish a little bit by bringing our hips over to one side and looking back over the shoulder on the same side and then repeat in the opposite way and we'll do a few more like that And you can just do whatever little movements you are craving here. 
maybe moving your spine in all directions, stretching through your neck, maybe taking in another cat pose. And then when you're ready, you can come back down to lie on your belly. From here, we'll be coming into cat pulling its tail. So you might lie more towards the right side of your mat. And then we'll be coming into a very brief sphinx pose. From here, you can rest your head into your left hand and take a bend into your left leg. From here, you might be able to reach back and find that left foot with your right hand and then slowly start to roll onto your back. Keep going until you can get both of your shoulders down onto the mat. And if needed here, you can place a bolster or a cushion in underneath your shoulder. You might adjust your hips a little bit, keep wiggling around and fidgeting until you can find that point where you have both of your shoulders on the floor. So this gentle twist of your spine is happening more in the middle and lower part of your back. Now your top leg here is your right leg. It can stay exactly as it is. But if you do want to go a little bit deeper, you might be able to hold your right thigh with your left hand, taking a little bend into that leg. Or you can extend your right leg out straight, bringing it over towards the left side of your mat. So once again, just Wiggle and adjust and figure out what works best for you. If you do want to go deeper into this pose, you can look over towards the right side of your room. We'll stay here for the next three minutes. The name of this pose, cat pulling its tail, always reminds me of those moments when a cat is chasing their own tail and it really brings out the silly side of the cat. So again here, just a little reminder that we all have this playfulness and silliness within us and it's okay to let that out. Perhaps we even need a reminder to let it out a little bit more. So if that's you, then here is your gentle reminder to just be a little sillier, a little more playful.
you can start to release the pose now. Just one little piece at a time. Eventually coming back to lie on your belly. Resting and absorbing in crocodile pose. Big toes kissing again. Entire body relaxing. We'll repeat cat pulling its tail on the opposite side. So this time you might lie a little bit more towards the left side of your mat. Find your brief sphinx pose again and then rest your head into your right hand. Bend your right knee and find your right foot with your left hand. And now slowly roll onto the back of your body. Readjusting your shoulder blades so they make it to the mat. Your top leg this time is your left leg. It can stay as it is or you can bend it a little bit. You might encourage the left knee closer to the ground. And if you want to go deeper into cat pulling its tail, you can look over your left shoulder. We'll stay here for three minutes. Take three more big breaths here.
see you can release cat pulling its tail one piece at a time. And this time you might just roll onto the back of your body. Lying here in corpse pose. Arms and legs taking up lots of space. And we'll rest here for a few moments, letting the body absorb all the benefits of these cat shapes that we've made. And in this routine, we spoke a little bit about how we can be quietly confident we can be celebrated even if we're introverted and we can be playful even if seriousness is more demanded from us demanded from us more so just let all of that sink into your being we'll stay here for two minutes and then I'll let you know when it's time to come back. You can bring a little bit of awareness back, making small movements. When you're ready, you can make your way back up into a seat on your mat. And cats never get up without stretching. So let's just bring our arms up over the head. Take your left wrist into your right hand and then stretch over towards the right. And we'll repeat the opposite way. And then you can come back down. If you enjoyed this cat yin yoga class, I would really appreciate it if you could leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. 
we can continue the conversation about cats down in the comments below if there's anything that you have learned from cats or you love about cats let me know i would love to hear from you so i'll see you on the mat again soon but until then take good care of yourself and goodbye